starting a new vlog. I am just finishing up getting ready for a video I'm gonna film later today. It's like about trying hairstyles. So yeah, I just did like simple makeup so far. I'm literally finishing watching Psycho. It's like my first, I've never seen the movie and they put it on Netflix, so. Look how much of this palette is gone. Like I, I wanna get a new like everyday palette, but I don't know. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations. I did like Dusty Rose with like light pink glitter. So I just finished filming the hair video and now I think I'm gonna do my hair. I kind of want to dye the faded parts dark so we'll see because I've never used this brand but we'll see. Okay so I'm gonna show a little hack to make scallop mushrooms. It's not, this is vegan and you, you only need king oyster mushrooms. I got these from H Mart and some olive oil or just any cooking oil and some salt. So I just sliced them into little discs and what you want to do is like cut I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, but just like cut, not all the way, oh, that was bad. Not all the way through like I just did, but you wanna like make a little indent and do it like crisscross. So it looks like that, and I'm gonna do it on both sides. So I'll show again, I'm not cutting through the whole thing. But yeah, I'm gonna just sprinkle salt on both sides and then put them in the pan. This is the finished. Oh my gosh, it's so stinky. Yeah, that was like a lot of oil and salt. But if you like that, because I like that, but it could do with a little less, but it's just so flavorful, like without any other seasoning. But of course you could add like whatever you want, but highly, highly recommend. Guys, I'm in the middle of doing my new nails and look this is like the best cat eye I've ever done. Look at it. My hands are really dry because I can't have lotion on while I'm doing this, but oh my gosh, I love it. And I did this little chrome, ugh. These are the nails in the daytime. Um, I kind of want to redo the lines on this. But I don't know, it looks kind of cool, but it's like more messy. But we'll see, I'm about to do the other hand, so yeah. So this is the first coat, and now I'm going to do the second. Okay, so I put the second coat on, and I didn't cure it yet, because I want to show the magnet, how, okay. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see, but it's like very hard. Okay, I'm gonna do the thumb first. You can't really see that well, but you just like move it around until the magnet goes where you want it to. That's not quite what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is what 
I'm leaving it as. Okay, I'm gonna try it again with the flash. Okay. See how it made that line? No, you can't see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, next. Okay, this is what I'm gonna cure it with. Nice. I finally finished this hand. This is the finished product. I really love this. Um, yeah, there's like some excess pearl dust on there, but I really like it. And this is the other hand. So yeah. Okay, hi, so today I'm gonna show, I got requested to like show my makeup collection. This is pretty much what I work with on a daily basis. It's not, anything that's not here is probably packed already. I, um, I am moving in a few days, so this is like, I mean, this is basically what I use on a daily basis, but I can go more into my daily makeup because it's not that much. It's probably like, I just basically need like my skincare, um, a couple palettes, my cushion and powder, eyeliner, just that stuff. So like, yeah, before I pack this, I want to show it. So this is basically what I have. I just have some Q-tips, my Laneige face lotion. Um, the Innisfree Serum and Sunscreen. Make sure you wear sunscreen. I'm really bad at it, but I'm trying to be better, um, especially if I go out, but even if you don't, you need it, which I'm bad at that, so. I just have all my palettes, like, stacked here. I put some away, but these two, or these three, are basically the ones that I use the most. Yeah, I don't have that much makeup anymore. Um, but yeah, this is the ColourPop in a Trance, the Amuse Lavender, and the Disney ColourPop Designer, which these two I pretty much use anytime I do makeup. Um, but I also have like the Too Faced, another ColourPop. Actually, yeah, these are both Too Faced, and these two are ColourPop. And I just have my cushion, my powder, my eyeliner, tweezers, uh, lash glue, eye glitter, eyebrow gel. Um, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Um, just like a bunch of lip stuff, glosses, liner, um, tints, sticks, this Kaja heart stain, um, another lipstick. This is like a, this is like a gold eye liquid eye glitter thing um these things i don't really use this is like a red liquid eyeliner a yellow eyeliner some gold shadow stick um but yeah i'm pretty much gonna put this all away put most of it away so that i can just keep my everyday stuff in a bag so it'll be easier because like i said i'm moving and i don't want I'm just trying to put as much stuff as I can away right now, but when I move, I will definitely do an updated, like, hopefully room tour, but for sure, like, organization of my makeup and stuff, because most of it is just, it's all, like, scattered around right now, I feel like. So, yeah, not a great timing, but I should be able to film, like, just a normal makeup routine video soon and I'll try to include that next. Alright, update. Everything barely fit. So I just stuck my skincare underneath and it looks a lot cleaner and it'll be a lot more convenient.
to do makeup, which I probably won't have to do that many times till I leave, but yeah, it's much more convenient, even though the other way was more aesthetically pleasing. This is like way easier, so yeah, so I just have that and my beading stuff. And there, oh yeah, I have to put the brushes in there. Darn. Guys, I had a dream that we got the group pictures and I was so upset about it. Like I looked so terrible. There were like so many people that I don't remember being there. I wasn't wearing what I was wearing. I had like, it just everything was wrong and I'm like hoping that that means it'll be the opposite, but I also feel like that means they're gonna send them soon. <laughs> so this is a sign, maybe, hopefully, that it'll be the opposite of my dream. Um, Because if you don't know, that's like what Koreans say. Like, if you have a dream about something, it's like the opposite in reality, which has happened to me before. Like, I remember in college that happened. I had like my first comp sci exam and I was so nervous about it, even though it wasn't that hard, but I I just like never did comp sci before, so I was scared, and I had a dream that I got an F, and then I actually got an A, so hopefully I'm just like so, <laughs> I'm waiting for it, as is everybody else. I'm not trying to say like I'm the only one. When it's been like 49 days since the US tour started, and like 35 days since I went. So what's going on? <laughs> okay, so today is Saturday and I just thought I would film my final vlog clips here for this vlog. That sounded so ominous, <laughs> the final vlog clips. Um, no, just for this vlog. I just did my makeup, very simple. I thought I would like take you guys through some of the products that I use because um, I said I would in the last clips. So yeah, I've been packing. We move in like exactly a week, I think. Wait, five, six. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly a week. So it's very stressful. There's a lot of like moving parts and like, yeah, and I'm still waiting for the freaking group pictures. Why? Okay, so first I'm gonna try these cookies. They're like s'mores Oreos, basically. I've never had this brand, but they are vegan, so. They smell like um, graham crackery. They look very cute. It's very crummy. I love them. It kind of just tastes like a more natural Oreo with a graham cracker cinnamony flavor added onto it. So today is probably the only day that I'm not gonna be packing. Um, I actually am gonna put like some clothes away, but for the most part, I'm not really gonna be packing, but I'm planning everything and i hate it but it must be done because i really don't want to leave everything to the last minute and be overwhelmed like why if anyone has ever worked for like a concert company like kohai or my music taste subculture can you please tell us why the group photos take so long to be released and i know every company is different because like i would say I mean, the only times I've done it was last year with CIX, this year with CIX, and in 2019 with CARD. And CARD's was pretty fast, I think. It took like maybe a little over two weeks. I don't remember, but I don't remember like waiting a crazy amount. I think at, at most it was two weeks. I feel like it was like a little more than a week. And CIX was like two weeks, exactly. But this like almost two months that's crazy and also i saw a tweet that was like someone was asking because they said that your respective ticket vendors will send out the photos soon 
so i'm assuming that's like Ticketmaster, but yeah because somebody mm, tweeted at one of the venues and they were like hey can you send them out but it was the venue so they were like oh that's the artist team's job we've reached out and like they haven't responded to us and i was like oh not the exposing <laughs> but then that got me scared because i'm like wait is somebody lying like what's going on are they just like saying stuff so i'm just I'm trying not to look at Twitter because it makes me depressed and anxious every time I open that freaking app but I always want to see like if anyone is saying anything about it I'm checking my email like 50 times a day I literally turned on my notifications for that and like nothing I also have some garlic roasted garlic hummus so let me know if you guys have had any group picture experiences because I'm pretty sure it's never been this long of a wait like two months like 60 days and who knows how long it'll be like it's almost 60 days now literally people are getting other group pictures before this one that they took after that one it's just blowing my mind. I don't know why I'm so obsessed. Maybe because like I'm in a stressful time right now and nothing else is really going on. So I just need that for a little bit of serotonin and satisfaction. But also it's like the anxiety because I don't know if it's good. Like I could look terrible. I hope it doesn't, but I don't know what it looks like. But have you guys watched that thing on Hulu? It's like something X Nightline. And it's all these different like news topics about different things. Like one of them was like about plastic surgery and how like people are getting, I didn't watch that one, so I don't know. But basically it was just like how people are getting their stuff dissolved and like toxic beauty standards, I think. Um. Um, and one of them was about like the bodies in Lake Mead and one of them was about the Jonas Brothers which was kind of random <clears throat> and one of them was about Paris Hilton which I loved um, and one of them was about Taylor Swift's Ticketmaster like fiasco and I was watching it and I'm like let me show you guys some of my makeup, like everyday makeup stuff. Basically the only brushes I use, oh also I kind of showed this in my pack with me vlog for my sister's birthday. But the only brushes I use are basically this one and this contour brush and my eyebrow brush or like the skinny liner brush usually if i use eyeliner i'll use the nyx epic ink liquid liner it's just a felt tip my cushion is the misha in shade 21 number 21 i like this because it has spf 50 and I don't know, it's cheap. I don't really care about the cushions as long as it's like matches me somewhat. And of course, I always use the Amuse palette. I only started using this last year, but it's become a staple because I use these for my um, eyebrows and this for my contour. And I just usually use these glitters whenever. It looks really dirty, that's gross. Um, and I'll use this as a base eyeshadow so it, it prevents me needing to like bring a lot of things if I'm ever traveling. I also put that in my purse before I go anywhere because it's like just in case. And I can also keep extra like if it's a concert and I have rhinestones or something on my eye or I need extra lashes just in there. I can easily put it in there like anything fits in there especially since that the mauve color came out like I can just put anything in there I put spare rhinestones in there um, for a past concert 
So I also use the Disney Designer Collection from ColourPop. It doesn't have a mirror, which sucks, but this top part is very pretty. But it just has a lot of like basic shadows along with like fun eyeshadows. So I basically just use this for blush. Okay, also I use eyeshadow for literally everything. I know that's like not right, but I don't... It's just what I do. I don't know why I do that, but it just- I like having everything in one palette. So... I will use these sometimes for contour instead of that taupe color, but... Because it's more subtle. Um, but I don't really do that usually. Sometimes I'll use this for blush. It's actually- it doesn't look like it would be, but it is a really good like deeper blush because this is very subtle. I used it today, but you can't really tell. I use this Prince Charming shade. You can see it's almost gone. Or not almost gone, I hit pan, but it's the only one I hit pan on. And I use that to highlight my nose, my eyes, just anywhere. But it's not very smooth. Like I wouldn't recommend it for a highlight. That's just what I've been using. I also like this shade for like any kind of colorful look I do. It's a very good like pink shadow and it blends really well with other colors. Oh, I was gonna add this glitter to my eyes. I love this liquid glitter. I just got it. It's so pretty and it it's called Bling Glow in Luminous number two it's from yes style um i just really wanted a liquid glitter oh i didn't do eggosa today i was debating whether i should do it and i'm i think i'm just gonna not oh the powder i use is so amazing it's l'oreal the infallible one that was like viral on tiktok um, I get it in porcelain. This is the first one I've gotten, so it looks like that. It's like pretty used, but it goes a long way. I use that on top of my cushion. I think we're moving on the 6th. And I'm not ready. So this is the last thing I wanted to try. I forgot about it, but I just saw it sitting on my bed. Um, there's a lot of things on my bed right now because... Um, when I took out my clothes from the dryer, it was a little wet still, so I'm just like letting them sit on my bed before I put them away to pack them. These are ginger candies, and it's lemon flavor. It's very cute packaging. I've never... So I've always eaten ginger candies, like every... Since I was like little, little. Yeah, I bought these because since we're going to be traveling, driving for hours... It's good to have candy when you're traveling. Ooh. These are like very sticky. I don't really taste the lemon, but the aroma is there. Like I feel like I'm like sniffing lemon oil while I'm eating the ginger candy. It's less spicy than the normal one that I get, which I don't love. I like that spiciness to like be there. Um. But it is really good. It kind of tastes like those rice candies that you get with like the rice paper around it. Um, but just like gingery version of that with like a little bit of lemon. I wish the lemon was stronger and it was spicier, but I do really like these. And there's a lot in here. So yeah, and the packaging is really cute. So would recommend. Okay, so I forgot to show what I wear for lips. And I normally wear an Amuse tint, usually this one in the plum shade. And then I will put this cherry lip gloss the, um, from Lime Crime on top, which this is the best smelling lip gloss you will ever find. It's running out, so I have to like swirl it around. I just love the texture and consistency of this. It's so like natural 
It's like putting whipped cream on your lips. I could literally wear this all day, every day. All day, every day. And my lips are very small, but I feel like this just makes it look bigger. And then this adds like the juiciness. Like look, I love how thick the applicator is. I'm gonna take this off. This is like, oh my gosh, it's hurting my head. And now my hair is all brushed back. I'm putting it back on. My hair was too crazy. So basically, I know this is a lot of talking, but I just really need to voice what's going on. We're actually supposed to be leaving. It's supposed to be all packed by Thursday, I think. Bro, that's like five days. So today's really just the last day that I can have any kind of relaxation. So group pictures come forward now. I feel like if I keep talking about it, they'll release them. That's what happened last year. I was like, I'm gonna wait and I'm not gonna bother them. And then literally the day of, I woke up that day and I was like, oh, whatever, I'm just gonna message them. And I DM'd them saying like, what the heck? And literally, no joke, like 20 minutes later, they posted them on Facebook. I felt like I caused that. So I don't want to do that again this year because I was like, if I just waited like 20 more minutes and I didn't even really like the pics last year. Not that I didn't like them, but I was like, mm. so I don't want to mess it up or say anything. But I feel like if I keep talking about it, I'll at least put that good motivational energy out there. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm even more stressed about moving now because I just talked to my mom and we actually have less time than I thought And we actually have to stay in a hotel like Two days before we actually leave because the movers come anyway, it's just because like situation with the movers and We have to be here, but there's no furniture that's gonna be here. So we have to go to a hotel and stuff so just think about my future sanrio bathroom and my cute future room which is gonna be it's gonna be so cute like i can just feel it because i'm so happy our new house does not have stairs we've always had stairs since mm, a long time like all of our previous houses have had stairs and i just i can't i'm done with the stairs I also thought of like buying a really cheap side table to use as a nightstand and like painting it really cool with cool designs because I've always wanted to paint furniture. I don't know. It's just cool to me and I've never done it because all my furniture I want to keep white but if I find, if I can't find like one that's already white, I don't mind just painting a little something on it. Yeah, I just love like the idea of painting 3D objects. Like I wanted to paint a purse, but with that you have to like get special setting, I think, or like a sealant. So I don't want to do that, but I heard that you can just set furniture with Mod Podge and you can just use acrylic paint, which I already have, so it works. <laughs> My makeup smudged so much and I don't even have that much eyeliner on or anything. Like this is sans eyeshadow. I've literally just been laying in bed doing nothing, just like on TikTok, watching YouTube and whatever. I didn't even pack anything. This is like the epitome of leftovers. Actually, I don't want to say that because my mom made pasta and I just put my leftover sauce on it. And this like weird sesame bread came. It was delivered. We ordered like regular French bread, but they didn't have that. So they gave us this. <laughs> um, yeah, and I have like leftover fried rice. Such a weird combo, I know, but 
That's called what you do when you have to clean out your fridge before moving in a week. Guys, look at my pasta. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's so heavy. It's like sinking the bottom of the container. Yeah, I'm just eating a little bit before I pack more. I want to like finish. I pretty much want to finish my room today. I only have like stuff under my bed. And that junk pile right there. So gross. It's not like it's that much work, but I just know. I mean, it is, but it's like busy work. I just don't want to start. And then I have to shower and then I'll probably eat more. But I was so starving, so I had to start eating now. Guys, look at that. It's like sinking in. It looks like it's gonna break. Okay, same hour, different top. This is the sandwich that I got. It's so cute. I was very interested in the bread. That's why I got it. It's a lot of veggies. But it's okay because I haven't been eating many veggies. I just haven't been eating that healthy, but I'm staying... I'm just giving myself free reign because... Like, this week is so crazy. I deserve it. And like, I just need some serotonin in my life, you know? I want to update you guys on the group pictures because I finally got a hold of Ticketmaster today. I called them and she said she'll look into it. She submitted this form to request like info about it. And she said it could take up to two weeks, but hopefully they'll answer really soon. She was really nice though. She seemed like so nervous. She kept apologizing and I was like, it's okay, it's okay, but thank you someone for finally helping me in some way instead of telling me like oh sorry we can't like we don't know which no offense to the other people like they probably didn't know but like the touring company i don't even want to say the name because y'all know but whatever oh it's like really sweet the bread I think it's like pumper pumpernickel. It's called like squaw, which I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it's like some sort of grain. Oh my gosh, there's like a rash on my arm. Look at it. Oh no. Maybe it's dry. <laughs> I was like kind of napping earlier and my hand, my arm was like against my head the whole time, so maybe that's why. So I want to continue this vlog as long as I can this week because I feel like I always say I'm going to vlog when I'm actually busy, but I always end up vlogging when I'm doing literally nothing and then it becomes so boring. So I'm going to try despite this crazy hecticness, despite the chaos of this- oh my gosh, is this a noodle? But yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next vlog where I will hopefully be moved. If not starting to move, I probably will film like the empty room, empty house and like on the way. So yeah, because we're probably going to be driving like in the afternoon from like early afternoon into the evening. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.